Hello, I'm Jocelyn Bailey. I'm a senior at Gothenburg. She doesn't even go here. And this is my poem entitled, Trees. They ask if a tree falls down in the middle of the forest with no one listening, does it even make a sound? More like if I'm sick but nobody can tell when they look at me, am I really sick at all? Dear people listening, I'm not asking for you to understand. I'm only asking for you not to judge. Dear invisible illness, I'm torn between wanting people to know what's going on with me and not wanting people to know what's wrong with me. If they know, I don't have to explain it, but then they question me. If they don't know, I can pretend I'm normal, but I will always seem off to them. When people ask me about my eating habits, it's easier to say I'm a vegetarian or that I just don't like the taste of bacon. I'm sorry. And explain that red meats actually make me really sick. Dear doctors, stop asking me every time I go to the emergency room if I'm pregnant. Also, stop asking if I'm about to start my period and if my symptoms are because of that. Start pretending you care more about your patients than your paycheck. Dear pill bottles, I remember back when taking just a single Tylenol as an event. Gulp of water, swallow, put pill in mouth, gulp of water, swallow, whoops, still in mouth, gulp of water, gag, chug water, done. Now I can take four pills at once. Dry. In fact, it's my nighttime routine. Dear heart, why do you have to beat so fast? My life isn't a, a race of who can pass out first. I lose after one flight of stairs. I get you have constant tachycardia, but I take pills for that. So like, calm down. Dear tummy, stop hurting all the time. Stop making me have diarrhea. Also, and that's not permission to get me constipated. I do, my life doesn't have to revolve around the toilet. I just want my IBS to go away. Dear invisible illness, I want to go back to when being sick was staying home from school with mom, drinking, drinking Sprite all day and watching cartoons. Now it's driving myself to the hospital to get tests and scans. Now it's going to school even when I feel like I'm going to pass out. Now it's eating only a bowl of rice for supper while everyone else chows down on my old favorite food. Now it's lying in bed cuddling a puke bucket in the dark with a migraine. Now it's running to the bathroom in the middle of the movie with my friends. It's praying to be healthy again. Dear Diagnosis, why did it take so long to find you? Why weren't you at that first hospital visit? Why did you wait thousands of dollars later? Dear people listening, I'm not asking for you to understand because you won't unless you've gone through it. I'm not asking for sympathy or empathy. I'm only asking for you not to judge because you will never know what someone is going through from the outside. That's why it's called invisible illness. It's invisible. There are trees falling. Listen to them. Whoa!